Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to use SolidWorks. I'm going to be including some basic features and what to do when you first start off. So, I have here the SolidWorks student version. SolidWorks, if you don't know, is a 3D modeling software and it's really useful for designing 3D models of what you're designing. You can use it to create software that you can 3D print and uh, things like that. Okay, so first we're going to start by clicking new and uh, we are going to do select part. Now, you don't want assembly or drawing just yet, but what assembly does is once you have a bunch of files of parts, you can assemble them and you can make them join together in, into an assembly. Uh, also, drawing uh, is like a blueprint file of the part. So, I'm just going to click start, OK. And uh, once it's loaded up, the first thing that you want to do is click sketch and then select a tool. Uh, so, if I wanted to make a uh, square, I'd click the rectangular tool, I'd click top plane, and I'd draw a rectangle. And that could be any dime, any size, and anything. And way you, you you the way you define the lengths is you click smart dimension and you select the um, the line that you want to measure you can also do angles so like that and that's 90 degrees but I don't need that so I'm going to click escape and that will undo the last selected one now if you click here and I make that a hundred it's in for me it's in millimeters but if you want to change the setting you can click down here and there is inches, pounds, seconds, millimeters, grams, seconds, which I'm using, centimeters, gram, seconds, and meter, kilogram, seconds. Um, you can choose whichever one you want. Um, next step I'm going to do to make it a square is to measure this side and uh, set it to the same as the other one, 100 millimeters, 10 centimeters. And ta-da, we have a square. Uh, you can hold down the mouse middle click button and then drag your cursor around the screen and you have um, and you're able to rotate the sketch okay so next part is I want to make it into a cube what do I do now I click features here and I click extruded boss base which in the name extrudes so I click that and ooh, that's not quite a cube yet but if we go over here we can use we can also use the slider to make it and we can go up to 100 and stop there or we can type here the value that we want whatever or and 100 millimeters now i've got perfect cube um so that's how you start off so next i'm going to be i'm going to be designing something a little bit more complicated i'm going to be doing a cylinder it uses the same same similar uh, style instead of drawing a square I'm going to be drawing a circle and I'm going to define that St smart dimension click on it and now this is the diameter so 100 100 millimeters just for sake and then features boss extrude 100 that is a cylinder easy as so okay but what if I want um, a sphere well there are loads of different ways of doing that fillet is a way if you click on the edge and then you can if you click on fillet up where features were and then you click on the edge you can go down here and you can select the um, radius of the fillet with fillet is what it curves the edge so the diameter of the thing is 100 millimeters so I want the radius of the fillet to be 50 millimeters I can uh, enter and I can click select and there we have a semicircle on top of a dome uh, on top of a cylinder sorry a dome on top of a cylinder next step would be doing the exact same thing with the bottom click the edge click fillet and then 
have a 50, it's already there, saved from the previous one, and bam, we have a sphere. So, it's all fine doing uh, basic shapes, but say I want to do a more complicated model. Say, for example, I want to do um, a, a can, tin can with a, a lid on top, say for example. So, again, we're doing a cylinder because it's a tin can. And then we want to, uh, smart dimension, we can, I'm going to go with 100, enter, features, extrude, uh, tin cans are wider than the diameter, so, uh, taller than the, the diameter, so I'm going to do 200, or no, uh, 150. There we go. And uh, tin cans aren't solid, so, and they, they're, they've they got a hole inside. They're hollow inside, so we use this tool called Shell. You click on the surface that you want to be um, cut through, so you can see it's the top surface here, and you click Shell, and then um, this, the parameters here, is the distance between the, the edge, and that's very small, so they're like um, 0.5 of a millimeter and then we can go like that and as you can see we have a um, thin 0.5 millimeter wall and a cylinder like so um, but now I want to do a lid and um, I want to do a lid that will fit on top of there. I'm going to do that as a separate part. So I'll minimize this. New part. Okay. And the first step, sketch, uh, draw a circle onto the top plane. And uh, we want the dimensions of the uh, lid to be 110 millimeters. And that's so that on either side I have 5 millimeters of play so that I can put my thumb underneath and flip open the lid. And uh, then I'm going to click features, uh, extrude, and then I'm going to set it to 5 millimeters so that it, the thickness of the lid is 5 millimeters. Now control space and click on the top view, and then I'm going to click sketch, uh, draw a circle, draw a circle on this surface, and then uh, draw it out. And then I'm going to click small dimension. And I'm going to draw the dimensions of the tin cans outside, which is 100 millimeters. Then I'm going to smart dimension the lid, the circle I've just drawn, to the edge, and I it will show me the distance between the centers of the circles, and I want that distance to be zero. Enter. Um, next step is to draw another circle and I can click on the center and drag it out and I want this to be the inside diameter of the tin can which is 99 millimeters because either side you have 5.5 millimeters which adds up to 1 millimeter and 100 minus 1 is 99. Okay, uh, next step is features and then I'm going to click extruded cut and um, it's uh, trying to extrude cut the whole way through, but I only want to extrude cut three millimeters in, and bam, and then I can click check, and there we go, the lid is done. So, now, now I'm going to assemble them together, these two parts. So I'm going to click a new part, assemb sorry, new assembly, OK, and here I can show you to um, how to insert. So I'm going to insert documents, I'm going to browse, and I've saved them as tin can and tin can, and insert components, browse, and tin can lid, open. Here we go. So the lid, first thing, is upside down, so I'm going to have to rotate it, so I click the lid. I click move component and the arrow and then click rotate component and I want to rotate it exactly 180 degrees so 
by delta x, y, z, 180 degrees. I just type it in there, I click apply, and I check. I'm done. It's rotated. So now I click mate, and this will mate the, the areas which need to contact each other. So first things first, I need to, this part of the recess has to contact the top of the lid, so I'm going to click that part, and I'm going to click the, the lid, this part. There we go, and click check, and the lid has moved up, so that's the recess part of the lid is exactly parallel with that. Next step would be to zoom in, and this is the outside part of the uh, lid, and I can click that, and I can just click outside, and you can see it slides into place, I click check, and there we go. We have the lid on top of the tin, and they fit. So, if I wanted to 3D print them, I'd go onto the parts, I'd save them as STL files, and then I would go to my school's 3D printer and load up the software and print it from there. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.